little bit larger than a palm size, maybe almost a hand size formation of this cloazite, almost a bouquet of this cloazite spears, uh, spear formation. Now this appears brown to silver metallic. I think with strong lighting you'd have a spalerati effect where the crystals would be opaque. So, so not totally see-through, but opaque. So first of all, let me take you around the various edges of the specimen. Across like that. Lovely example of this cloazite. Then we're going to take you across the top, which is pretty much intact. So let's have a look into the top. Uh, it appears almost two colors, the, the silver metallic uh, or, or sort of a metallic color going with a brown section over here. Now let's have a closer look. Now these are all little spears uh, forming together to... Uh, to ah, there we go. That's that's better. That's more accurate. Sort of a reddish brownish, lovely form, lovely large piece. Uh, other associations from Berg Alcas. Um, sometimes you have tiny uh, matromite crystals sitting on on these disclosures, but I think in this case we're predominantly looking at a matrix made up of solid disclosures. Even the core here would be disclosures. Uh, pretty heavy, uh, almost hand-sized, as I said, uh, larger than a, um, a a palm size. And view it this way around as well. So there are various aspects of display. Let's go, look at that, look at that. And then let's go this way around, also pretty aesthetic.